Good morning, this is Tanya Sheridan at inallsassiness.com and today I am going to show you how to make the first card in the Fall Wood Grain Slimline series. So this card um, was created using our um, new tag set. This one, this tag set has all kinds of options. It is called the buildable tag set. And so it has all these different dies that can be switched up. They can cut inside of each other and do just lots of different possibilities. So the one that I use is this little tag here. It's a standard tag. It has a little loophole. You can see that the paper um, has stuck in there, but that'll pop out with your piercing tool, no worries. And so that's the, t the piece that we used for this card. So the paper is, the background paper is um, from one of our mix-in collections. This is the mix-in for, um, let's see, September and October. And it has a neutral paper. I thought it worked really well with the wood grain and the different elements that we're using today. And then we are also going to use the um, Harbor cardstock for our base. So let's open up our adhesive runner. I'm going to use the close to my heart adhesive runner because it is by far my favorite. And I'm going to just go ahead and put adhesive on the back of the background paper. And then I'm going to center that and attach it to the harbor, which is one of our newer colors with Close to My Heart. Um, it's a really interesting color because it lends itself to work well with blues or greens. And of course, we've had a debate as to is it a, truly a blue or a green? Okay, so we have that done. And then what I did was I took um, some of the Picture My Life cards from the Pumpkin Spice collection, and I used those for my tag. So you can see that I've used this one, which is double-sided, and I cut one tag of each from the double-sided. And then I used the four by six PML card and have cut the tags from that. And it has two sides as well. I chose to just use the neutral colors, and um, but you could use the brighter ones if you wanted the brighter ones as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut those out, and I've already added foam tape onto the back. So we are just going to simply remove that foam tape, and we're gonna attach it directly to the card itself. So there's four of them. I'm gonna start up at the top, I tend to not measure, I just simply eyeball it, but you could measure it. Now I have left each of the tags open, as you can see. If you wanted to thread a piece of ribbon or shimmer trim or twine through that, you could. You could even do a piece of paper, but I really liked it with the tag opening um, because the paper underneath you know, shines through. So I'm just going to alternate. Again, if you wanted to use this orange side, you could very easily use the orange side, um, but I really liked the more neutral colors and just a little bit of the orange popping out on the fronts of the tags. So there are four of those. These fit great with the slimline cards. The slimline cards, of course, are three and a half um, by eight and a half and they're gonna fit in a standard um, business envelope. I'm gonna put all four of those there. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is I have used the mink cardstock. I stamped a sentiment in Harbor Ink. This is from our um, stamp of the month for the month of October. And it just says, I appreciate everything you do. So we're gonna dovetail it. By dovetailing it, I'm gonna to cut to the center and then cut from each corner into the center. And that's gonna create a semi-even dovetail. And that is just gonna go at the very bottom. So I'm gonna take my foam tape and I'm going to attach that just like this. We're gonna put that at the bottom. I, I'm gonna line it up on the left side with my tags. It is just about the right length of the tags, so it makes it um, visually very appealing. And then at the very bottom, I'm gonna attach one of the hearts. And so for the heart, I'm gonna come back to these wood stickers from the Pumpkin Spice Collection. And we're gonna use a lot of those during this series. And I'm going to carefully pull off the film Okay, so it's gonna overlap down here. You can see um, I am going to carefully, it's very, very sticky, but I'm gonna carefully set it down 
and I'm going to add just a tab of my foam tape to the bottom of the heart where it exceeds that dovetailed pennant. And that just keeps it flat. So you can see I'm just using a little bit. I want to put that on before because it is so incredibly sticky. And then I'm just going to position that right at the bottom. I don't want to cover the words so that the foam tape makes it all even. And that's all it is to it. Then all you have to do is just flip this over, take your adhesive runner, and you could put the adhesive directly to the card if you chose to do it that way. Either way works. Put your adhesive on the back, and then we're just going to attach it to the card front. Just like this. And that's all you have it. Have a great day. Make your day sassy.